all right y'all what's going on it's combo breaker 99 back with another video all right y'all back with some big news i love waking up from a nap to this type of news i just be you know dozing off and then waking up and just hoping for some good news in this world of wmma and it looks like we got a fight y'all we got a fight it's going down it's going down for march 4th ufc 285 we got the flyweight champion valentina shevchenko taking on none other than alexa grasso like i told y'all i think i told y'all that I, I remember telling y'all that it was gonna be alexa grasso right i remember saying it was gonna be alexa grasso y'all knew it was gonna be alexa grasso when it came down to it because look first off valentina shevchenko she's hungry she's hungry i know that santos was out there right i know santos could have been available for december but they didn't want to make that fight so what's going to happen manone is out on surgery what's going to happen alexa grasso has to step up we all know what she said she wants another fight for experience a five-round main event but she said if it came down to it if they offered a fight she would take it and that's what's going to happen here because there was no other choices for valentina shevchenko so boom it's going down valentina gets a fight first quarter of 2023 the way it should be right like i said when it comes down to the one through five somebody's got to be ready there's always got to be a choice there on backup just in case like the number one and number two contender can't make it right you got to have somebody in the division that's ready and who else uh, who else who else is out there besides grasso i mean grasso is on a nice win streak i mean we might say okay it's not the number one or number two uh on her resume but uh at number five she went on a four fight win streak just like everybody else like santos they did you know she beat a couple of top 10 fighters and got herself in that to that position right as y'all can see the resume right here valentina's 23 and 3 alexa grasso is 15 and 3 and she's got six years of experience in the ufc um undefeated at flyweight that's it right um should be a good fight it should be a good fight i mean valentina shevchenko said hey if i can't get my known firo I want the next best thing, which is Alexa. And she was impressed by Alexa's performance uh, against Viviana Rujo. And I know like the hardcore fans like myself, we look at the fight and we say, okay, that's Viviana Rujo. That's far, far from the champion. But hey, when it comes down to it and you fight your way up and you go undefeated like this, it's time to step it up. And I'm hoping that Alexa Grasso, she is prepared for that test. Um, I'm hoping she prepared for this one because it's the final exam. I mean, you know, look, Alexa, she shows great skills when it comes down to her stand-up. You know, she's been perfecting her ground game. You know, that's something that they've really been working hard on. Shout out to my man, Slight of Mind, who's always, you know, keeping me posted on what he sees and, you know, some of these fighters that he sees whenever, you know, he's around them because he's in there training as well. Um, you know, of course, I put his name out there as a fighter, but we all know him as Slight of Mind. I know him as Slight of Mind, right? He knows who he is, right? <laughs> But yeah, uh, yeah, my man, he's always letting me know that Agrasso is, you know, she's working on the takedowns. You know, she's working on a clinch game. She's looking stronger. And I, I can definitely say I agree with all of that. I, I know, um, you know, I've talked about her in the past saying that, you know, she's more just, just of a stand-up fighter. But I've seen the growth. I've seen the development. Um, but when it comes down to Valentina, it's going to be an ultimate test. It's going to be an ultimate test of strength for her here. You know, we got to see if everything that she's been working on in the, in the we're going to see if everything that she's been working on in the gym is going to translate into this type of fight, right? Because the stand up game here, boxing is Alexa Grasso's thing. You know, she's got some of the best boxing at 125, but Valentina Shevchenko also has some of the best boxing at 125, right? These are the two best boxers at 125, in my opinion right uh well i'll say chikagan is probably right in the middle i would put chikagan a little bit over grasso but not too far over and that's just based off of the ranking you know that's just based off of the ranking and you know in the resume but the technique of grasso when it comes down to her boxing it is solid it is solid so those are your three best boxers but the thing about shevchenko is you know her timing you know her timing is solid it, it, it's it's immaculate compared to anybody else you know her timing is one of the things that her timing and her quickness are two of the things that um push her 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 stand-up skill over any other girl in the division right so we're gonna see if grasso's iq is up to par like we're gonna see if she can get valentina's timing down 
and make adjustments in there or see if she can uh, um, outwork her. You know, we're going to see if she can get split that guard with her one, two. You know, there's a lot of different things in there. We, you know, we have to see um, with Grasso's, uh, her her pure boxing skill now. You know, we've seen it against these girls that we know don't have that type of boxing IQ like Macy Barber. Macy Barber, yeah, she's, you know, a heavy-handed fighter, but she doesn't really have that type of, um, you know, she doesn't really have that type of boxing IQ. So now we get to see Grasso with somebody that has uh, a high boxing IQ as well. Uh, Valentina. You know, she's like I said, you know, she's just on another level compared to anybody in this division. But, um, you know, we never know how this this could play out. She feels like Grasso is a challenge. So we're going to see from here. Right. And look, when it comes down to it, I know I give Grasso a hard time. But look, shout out to Alexa Grasso for taking the test. And just so people know, look, when it comes down to it, she she really had no choice at this point. You know, she really had no choice because they didn't want to do the Santos fight. Manon's out. So. They were going to have to put Grasso in there. And, you know, that's probably what they were telling her. They say, Alexa, this is on you now. We don't have anybody else. You know, everybody else is not not, um, you know, everybody else is uh, not ready for this fight. Well, Tyler was, but we just didn't want to make that fight. That's how they that's how they probably took. We don't want to put Tyler back in there. Uh, we, we want some new blood. OK, so it's got to be you. And um I'm 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 rooting for Grasso in this fight. You know, I am. I want to see her do something um that that we all hope she's uh capable of doing. You know, I want to see her pull out that uh I want to see her pull out that dog in this type of fight. You know, she's never really been the type of fighter to call people out and she's also never been the type of fighter to go in there and, you know, have that kill switch on. Um her technique is on point, but when it comes down to her that, that her dog sometimes she just don't let loose like that you know that's why she hasn't had too many finishes in the ufc she's only really had what one right jojo calderwood that was the only fighter she finished uh my opinion there's fighters she could have finished in the past like genu kim even macy barber but uh you know just never really stepped on the gas like that but in this fight here man against valentina to get valentina's respect she's gonna have to go in there and step on the gas now not be reckless and go in there and get and get stop by a head kick or something like that or walk right into a, uh, a Valentina takedown and get submitted. No, I'm just saying, like, she's got to assert herself. You know, she's got to sit on her punches and she's got to be aggressive with leg kicks. Uh, you know, she's got to go for head kicks in this fight and her combinations. She can't have too much pullback. She's got to, she's got to have some sit down on it once she adjusts to that one, two of Valentina or if Valentina comes in with that straight left hand. You know, you've got to be able to uh, get Valentina's respect in these fights. Like, the only fighter we know that really got Valentina's respect was um, Amanda Nunes, right? That's pretty much it. Um, Tyler, she did for a few rounds, but even then, after that, we all know Shevchenko, she settled into that fight, but she did get her respect to a certain level. So yeah, I'll I put her on that, that um, I'll put her on that, um, that list as well. Somebody got respect, but Grasso got to get the respect, got to be the dog in this fight. Shout out to Grasso for accepting the fight, you know, like I told y'all, she had to do it. But some of y'all still trying to say Manon Duck. Hey, no, I, I think that if Manon didn't have a surgery, she would have been the one that would have had to take this fight. That's what I'm saying. Like, they got to be on their stay ready because if it wasn't Grasso, she would have had to been the one because Shevchenko said it. She said, hey, I want her, but if I can't get her, it's going to be Grasso. All right. So, yeah, this is just my pre-fight discussion, guys. I'm, I'm hyped for this one. Um, I've heard. There's also been talks of Amanda Nunes versus Irene Aldana on the same card, right? I believe she'll be on the same card. And I mean, this card is starting to shape up to look like a solid one. So, you know, I'm definitely going to be on calling this whole doggone card, man. It, it, it's going down. Valentina Shevchenko versus Grasso. Look, I'm, I just, I'm just hoping that Grasso proves us all wrong when it comes down to it. I want her to prove me wrong. I want most of these fighters to prove me wrong. I want to be able to say, wow. They showed a warrior's heart. They gave the champion a good fight. Let's do it. Shevchenko Grasso, Combo Breaker 99. Give me all thoughts. I'm out. Subscribe. Peace.